Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of adding fractions and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. Now when we are adding fractions in the 5th grade most likely our fractions are going to have different or unequal denominators. So our first example here is 1 third plus 2 fifths and you cannot add fractions straight across if your denominators are different. And you notice we have two different denominators. So what we need to do is we need to find the least common multiple between 3 and 5. To do that, we're going to list out our 3's. So 3, 6, 9, and we're going to list out our 5's. 5, 10, 15. We're just going to list out the multiples of 3 and 5 until we get to a number that shows up on both lists. And you see here we've got 15. So 15 is the least common multiple, sometimes called the LCM, of 3 and 5. And that's going to be helpful because we can change 1 third and 2 fifths into equivalent fractions with a denominator of 15. And so if I make my 1 third into 15 ths, and if I make my 2 fifths into 15 ths, and set it up like this, then we will be able to add them. So when I want to change my 1 third into 15 ths, I need to be able to think 3 times what equals 15. Remember just a moment ago I said you cannot add straight across in when you're dealing with fractions if the denominators are different? Well, that is true. Multiplying fractions, though, is much simpler. You can multiply straight across and it doesn't matter what the denominators are. So think of your facts. 3 times blank equals 15. Well, you should know that 3 times 5 equals 15. We're going to use the identity property of multiplication, which says anything times 1 is itself. And so how can we write 1 as a fraction with 5 as the denominator? Well, you guessed it, 5 fifths. 5 fifths is equal to 1 because you have something broken up into 5 parts and you have all five parts shaded in. So really, I'm multiplying one-third times one. I'm just making my one look like five-fifths. So if I multiply straight across on the top, one times five equals five. So what we need to see here is that my one-third is equal to five-fifteenths. Those are the exact same values. They just look slightly different. Those are equivalent fractions. Now we're going to do the same thing here for two-fifths. 5 times blank equals 15. Well, you should know that 5 times 3 equals 15. And this second fraction needs to be equal to 1, so 3 thirds is equal to 1. So if you multiply straight across, 2 times 3, that makes 6. So now I have 2 fifths, which is equal to 6 fifteenths. But you notice I now have two fractions that work. I renamed my 1 third as 5 fifteenths, and so I'm going to write that as 5 fifteenths. And then I renamed my 2 fifths as 6 fifteenths. And when we're adding fractions, if your denominators are the same, then you can add across. The denominator stays the same. You're simply adding the numerators. And so 5 fifteenths and 6 fifteenths is going to equal 11 fifteenths. So that is your answer. Let's look at a second example. In this case, I'm needing to add 3 fractions, 1 half, 1 fourth, and 1 eighth and they do not have the same denominator. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to list out our 2's, 4's, and 8's. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start listing this out and take a look. I've got an 8 on both of those lists. So I'm going to keep my 2's going until I find an 8 and there we go. 8 is going to be my least common multiple. And the nice thing is, is my 1 8th is already in the 8. So really I just need to change my 1 half and my 1 fourth. So 1 half times something is going to give me 8. 2 times 4 is 8, so that needs to be 4 4 fourths equal to 1. So my 1 half is the same as 4 eighths. Now I need to change my 1 fourth. That times something is going to give me 8. 4 times 2 is 8, so 2 halves, that makes 1. 1 times 2 is 2, so I've got 4 eighths, I've got 2 eighths, and then I've got my 1 eighth already up there. That's going to make 7 eighths. Now you try. Go ahead and pause the video. Try to solve 1 6 plus 3 8. When you have your answer, start the video back up and check your work. You should have found that 24 was your least common multiple. Change your 1 6 to 4 24ths, your 3 8 to 9 24ths, add them together to get 13 24. 